Well, there is a lone wildebeest, everybody, and he's just over here. I'm just trying to get into a position where I can see the lions as well. He's heading straight past the lion sighting. And while those lions certainly don't look very hungry, if they spot a lone baby wildebeest like this, it is highly likely that they will have a go. And I think they've moved off, and I think they're just unsighted now. And I think this little chap might be lucky. He might just be able to get by them without them even noticing. I don't suppose he's going to last much longer, though, on his own like this. How he's managed to lose a hundred thousand of his friends, I really don't know. It is a little bit, uh, well, astounding, frankly. Let's just move out the way here. There's a car coming. We're just going to get into a position where we can... The lions have moved off, you see, towards the river now. And so they're going to miss this chap, I think. We'll just see if we can't see where the lions are. This guy could not have timed his pass over this area more skillfully than he has. I'm just going to stick my head up over the top here. The wildebeest is walking away. The lions... No, the lions have definitely moved off down towards the river. He's heading sort of towards them. Don't go that way, fellow. Go the other way. And I'm just trying to see. I don't know if there's another road down towards the river. But if he goes the other side of the road here, this little fellow, which he's doing, he's heading straight towards them. Oh, he's now running straight towards them. But where they are right now, I don't know. Goodness. Um, Bex, you can. We can't go off road here, so I can't follow him, I'm afraid. Bex is just asking if we should go live to Facebook with this. I mean, we can, but the, the jeopardy of the hunt is going to. It doesn't exist because, of course, we can't follow him. All righty, we're going to go... Be Bex, he's going to disappear over this hill. I can't follow him from there. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> it's Jeopardy in the final control, as Rebecca says. If we could follow him off-road, I would absolutely say we should definitely go live. Um, I think what we're going to try and do, Bex, is try and get around this little hill, figure out where the next road is. In fact, I can see one down there. I'm going to drive very quickly around to the next hill and see if we can't get him coming over the top of this little rocky knoll. Kim, you want to know if there's any reason the wildebeest would leave the herd? Why? Um, no, I don't think so. I think they could get separated during a hunt. It's entirely possible that something like that could have happened. Um, I don't know, maybe he fell asleep? That's a stupid answer. I don't think he fell asleep. But I really couldn't tell you why it is that he should have disappeared or have left his herd. It does seem very strange. I'm just going to try and find a road around here that will take me round, because this is a non-off-roading zone, unfortunately. It would have been so fascinating to follow him off-road. Hopefully one day, when uh, we have built our reputation slightly around here, we'll be granted a little more access to off-roading areas. But at the moment, as with the rest of the punters, we must obey all the rules. 
Well, we are but one of many punters. Is that not the case? Craig, that was to you, yes. Yes, good. Well done for realizing that we are just punters. Come on, you old bat, move.